my gorgeous, gorgeous, sparkly, uh, gorgeous Libra. I'm sorry, I'm lost for words because it's super early in the morning. All right, Libra, we're doing an early morning reading for you. Oh, God, just like I promised, it's actually your evening reading if you're EST or PST. Uh, and if you're uh, Cypress time, it's uh, morning. <laughs> so good morning. Good morning, good evening, Libra. Let's take a look at uh, Libra. This is Libra Singles. So we're going to see what new fishes are coming at you in the sea of love. Oh my god, the cards are flying. Also, I apologize for my disheveled look and my crazy, like, everything. Like, you know, morning, whatever. I got that morning. <laughs> I'm not a morning person, but I'm doing this for you because I love you. And I just wanted to vibe with you in, like, a real way to show you a little bit of my actual life. Okay, eight of my actual life. I don't have a life, by the way. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, oh, somebody wants to... Okay, somebody is going to want to work at it, okay? You're going to be taking a leap of faith, Libra. I see uh, Libra, someone raising in Venus. You're going to be taking a leap of faith very soon in love. A new love is coming. And, and it's okay to take a leap of faith. You're not. Uh, you're going to feel a little bit like you don't want to make a fool of yourself. It's okay. Don't feel like that, okay? I do see the past coming back to haunt you, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, Libra, before we get into your reading, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you're new. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. Major shout out as well today to Angel of Venus. Today, I am, um, we're going to do this reading. Then I'm going to go to the Temple of the Goddess Aphrodite here in Cyprus. And major shout out to Angela Venus. She is an amazing reader on YouTube. She does tarot. She does all signs. She's a Scorpio reader, but she does all signs. Okay, baby? And I absolutely adore her. She is my sister. She helped me out. Uh, she lifted me up when I just started YouTube. Um, she had, you know, like Angela Venus was a, like, she had a significant big channel on YouTube. Major Scorpio vibes, you know? And I had like one subscriber and she would shout me out in all, all her videos and stuff like that. It was just amazing. She did lives with me. It was just like scrumptious. So uh, we know each other from a past life or whatever you want to call it. Whatever planet I'm from, I feel like she's been there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if you want to um, put some love out there into the universe, if you want to, here's the gift for Goddess Aphrodite that we're going to put out there into the universe today. Go to Angela Venus's um youtube channel she's linked in the description box below and tell her i love her because these are the types of gifts we can give to the gods these days this is no longer the time of libations and you, you know burning animal flesh that kind of thing you know uh these days um the acts of service to the gods and the goddess are acts of kindness so let's 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 do a little sacrifice for the goddess aphrodite we're gonna see today let's uh show each other some love tell someone you love that you love them today as well please uh libra do that for me uh, and I will put in some good intentions uh, at the Temple of the Goddess Aphrodite for you. But go tell Angie I love her. She's linked in the description box below under Friendly Channels. Okay, that's enough about me. Eight of Swords. Ah, Libra, what is it about these X's? I know it's Mercury Retrograde, but it's just almost like annoying. Eight of, okay, you've got Eight of Swords energy here. Someone is still like, someone's still keeping you trapped somehow. Like in, in their energy, in their thoughts it's almost like emotional blackmail someone's like i can't live without you Libra. don't leave me but you're already over it you're like it's over maybe this person ended it themselves and now they're like no i can't live without you it's too late douche <laughs> it's too late isn't that right alien people even the aliens like yeah it's too late douche delete from database all right <laughs> page of cups the world and death yeah so you gave nothing but love to this person, and this person kept taking, taking, taking in the past, and then they ended it themselves. And now they're like, I can't live without you, Libra. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you so evil? Why won't you talk to me? Because you ended it, douche flute, okay? You said you wanted it to be over, and now you're blaming Libra for not speaking. They, they were like, never speak to me again. And then Libra was like, okay. And they're like, why aren't you talking to me? What a douche flute. See, this is the kind of like, you know, narcissistic vibe kind of behavior that we don't want on this channel. Libra, Page of Swords, they're spying on you. This person from the past is spying on you so deep. And they're making you, maybe, look, even if they're not, even if you're not in communication, they're not messaging you those exact words. This is how you know they're feeling. This is what you know that they want to say to you. This is the energy they're in. They're like, why aren't you speaking to me, Libra? Why aren't you chasing me this time? Why aren't you coming back around? Not this time, baby. Not this time, Satan. 
No room for Satan today. All right. <laughs> Whatever. I need like five coffees. Like when I wake up, I need five coffees before I'm even, it should be allowed out into society because I'm still like away with the fairies. Do you have that? I feel like um, sometimes, you know, uh, some psychic people, they tend to have a lot of energy and some just like get drained from the psychic stuff. I get very drained. I need a lot of rest, but I also have like physical stuff that, that I had just have going on I just need loads and loads and loads, loads of rest I need like a little bit bib to take care of me <laughs> and allow me to rest and like stroke my hair and massage my feet okay never mind that's enough about me Libra okay five five stories um look these thoughts you're having of missing this person or maybe you've just been thinking about that person from the past it is because they're thinking about you they're like really angry because they want to keep you bound they're like why is Libra moving on from me now no, Satan, a Libra is moving on. You have to move on, Libra, because what's uh, coming up here is the um, Five of Swords and Six of Cups is a, uh, it's a treacherous, treacherous feeling to have right now. To be nostalgic for the past with this person is a treacherous feels, all right? These feels are treacherous. This will lead you back to a bad situation. Delete from database. Let's see what is coming, on that, uh, coming up that's new. See, it was like... Uh, Singles reading, general energy vibe check. It was all about the X. Oh, there's a card falling down. All right, yeah. Four of Swords. Do not worry. The right person will come. There is a protective, beautiful energy coming your way. Maybe a little bit of a protective, like, you know, uh, prince, princess in uh, shining armor. Anyone in between. Is that what you say? Shining armor? Whatever. Sh on a shiny horse. All right, the high priestess. Yeah, your intuition is already telling you, Libra, that the correct thing to do is leave the past behind and keep moving. If this person from the past reaches out, just delete them from the database because I see treachery from them. If they betrayed you in the past, the message is they will do it again. They will do it again. Okay, Libra, I'm sorry. I'm looking out the window here like, like this because we're right by the tombs of the kings, as you know, because I'm obsessed, okay? And there's like one specific uh, space there that's like my grave, my tomb. And I'm like the tomb keeper now. I'm like making sure all these tourists behave themselves. And they do like, I, I don't know what, what, I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm just like, I walk, I look out my window every day and like um, go on the balcony. I'm like, are these tourists respecting <laughs> the graves? Of course there was like, there's no, I don't know what I think I'm going to find. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just guarding them. I'm going to miss it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the high priestess. <laughs> The High Priestess, you already have an intuition. You know this is coming for you. You know a new person is coming. You know you need to move on from the past. You know when the past comes back, you need to reject it. It's a little difficult right now, but it's okay, Libra, baby. Four of Swords, you know, it's in the bank. You know, you got it covered. Your angels, your guides, um, the mother, you know, Mother Goddess has it covered for you. Come into the Goddess energy, baby. Ace of Cups. All right. Everybody. Aphrodite, one more time. How many times can she appear in your reading? New things, okay? Aphrodite has your back, all right? She's feeling the love. Massive cup of love. See this cup? Oh, my God. You will be drunk with love. Drunk with happiness. New happiness. Someone new coming to the shores, okay? This isn't the old person. Delete from database. New person is coming. New person is coming sooner than you think. Could be Scorpio season, your own Oh, by the way, Libra, happy birthday. I forgot to say happy birthday in your um, um, previous reading. Happy birthday, baby. It's both of our birth birthdays coming up soon because your birthday is before mine because I'm a Scorpio. Boo -boo. Uh, so happy birthday, Libra. Maybe around Scorpio season or just as your season ends, like you will be meeting a new person. You will be vibing with a new person, but you need to let the path go. This is the lesson that's coming through for you. Uh, boo -boo, this is what I have for you today. Oh, by the way, the new person is going to be exactly what you wished for. This is important to know. It's going to be exactly what you wanted from the past person who they didn't give you that. That new person will give you those things. But you need to have faith and you need to be firm, self-respect, you know. This is goddess energy. What's so important about, in my experience, about uh, attracting the right kind of energies is self-respect. And self-respect is not taking less. Self-respect is having things, preferences, things you want in a person and not taking no for an answer, you know, like not... Uh, 
not lowering your boundaries or your standards just because you want to accommodate someone. It's just uh, you need to be firm but fair, unfortunately. Uh, so this is what I have for you, my darling uh, Libra. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit discombobulated. Welcome to my bed. Sorry, my bed is a mess because I'm already packing for our next journey. Anyways, boo, boo I love you so much, my darling Libra. You have no clue. I just love you. Thank you for your understanding about everything. All my Mercury retrograde mishaps. This channel has been a mess. But I am your mess, all right? I'm your dedicated gorgeousness uh, mess, my scrumptiousness. I love you so much. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. If you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? Turn on the notification button. And of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Stay sparkly. Stay gorgeousness. Stay moisturized. And may the angels protect you. And the goddess of love bless you. One more.